Welcome to the second part of this class. By the end of this entire course, you will be able to build this dashboard. From this dashboard, you can see that the company has a total of 530 staff. Out of this 530, 163 have left the business, and that is the attrition. And we have an active, which is remaining staff of 367, which leads to an attrition rate of 30.8. Then we study this data based on demography, based on rating, based on job details. Now, based on demography, we look at their age, and we discover that people between 31 and 35, that's where we have the highest of 62 people that left from that age. We also look at the attrition based on gender. We have 82 female and 81 male. We look at the ratings that of those that left the business, average has the highest number of people that have left the company. Then we look at the job details in terms of year of service, and that gives us an average rating of 6.59. Then we look at salary range. A lot of persons that left are people that earn low salary. Then we look at based on departments and based on job role. We can filter this data to check of the 500 staff, 200 of them female and 82 left, an attrition rate of 41.0, which is higher compared to the average of 30.8. Then we can slice it also by the male, total of 330, 81 left, making it an attrition rate of 24.5. So we can say in this business, the rate at which female staff live is higher compared to the rate at which male staff live. That's one. We also look at based on job role. We have countants 41, those are left five, making it an attrition rate of 12.2, which is low compared to the general attrition rate of 30.8. Specialists have 51.7, which is the highest. This gives us an overview of the projects you will be working on in this class. Let's get into the content for this section. In this model two of the course, we are looking at cleaning and transformation. In some materials, this is also called extract, transform, and load. That is ETL. E there stands for extract. You need to get the data. You need to extract it from a source then you need to transform and clean the data. The last part of the ETL process is the load part. Now load means you need to load it into a particular tool. There are different tools. Excel is a tool, Power BI is a tool, Tableau is a tool, SQL is a tool, Python is a tool, Arrow language is a tool. So these are different tools. In this particular case, we're using Excel 2021 and above. Data cleaning and transformation is a process of identifying and rectifying errors or inconsistencies in raw data while converting it into a more structured and usable format. And the tool we will use is called Power Query. Power Query is a data transformation and connection tool in Microsoft Excel and Power BI that allows users to import, clean, and shape data from various sources for analysis and reporting. So in this section, we'll look at how to load data into Power Query. In Power Query, we will remove unwanted columns, remove unwanted rows, we'll split columns, we'll replace headers, we'll trim, and we'll correct data type. Then in transformation steps, we'll look at conditional formatting and how to replace values. So from this point, we get into Excel. In normal practice, it is advisable never work on a client's original data. Because of that, I'll save a copy of this data. Save as, go to Browse. I'll save it in a folder called Cause, and I'll close it. I'll go to your system and open Excel. Create a new document. You need to get the data and then do the cleaning in Power Query. So to do that, go to your menu tab, click on data. After doing that, the next thing, go to data, then go to from file. And from file, the next thing you go from Excel workbook because the data came in as an Excel workbook. So in your system, you trace the location of the particular file. I have it here, data analytics full course. You locate this file and then say import. This will open the Power Query Navigator for you to select the particular file. So click on data, click on it. We have the data here and you have load, you have transform, you have cancel. If the data is clean, we'll just click on load. But in this case, the data is dirty. For example, there is an image there and there are other items there we don't need. So we need to clean them. And when we want to clean, we click the transform button. So immediately we click the transform data we we'll start the transform process. And the tool we will use here is called Power Query Editor. So let me take a minute and explain the Power Query environment to us. Power Query it has the menu parts 
and we have the home transform add column and view the second part is the query settings and in the query settings we have the name of the particular data sets we're working with and the apply steps in power query you can't undo so instead if there is a step that you missed or a step you want to cancel you just come here and click the times button now the next part is the list of all the data sets and this is the work area where we do the cleaning and transformation the first cleaning step we want to take is to remove on wanted columns and how do we do that we right click on this particular column and then we say remove other columns step number two how to remove unwanted rows in this data set we have this row up to row number five we don't need these rows so we we'll do what is called remove top rows to remove top rows while in the home menu come to remove rows in this case click remove top rows and how many top rows do we have one two three four five so just type five in here and say okay next we want to remove this particular dash that we have in item number two it's not part of the data that we want to analyze when we have rows that we want to remove in between in this case we use what is called filter so the column has a filter button click on the filter button we scroll down to where we have the dash and simply uncheck it and click ok we have that row taken care of now the next thing we want to do is to split this data into different columns because we have employee id age gender and it continues a delimiter is more like a separator so what is separating each item here is a line so we we'll split by that so right click on this column go to split column and you will see split by delimiter now the ai empower query will quickly understand that the delimiter here is a line so allow power query to select the line if it is not selected you can manually type the line the line is the button on top of enter so you hold down shift and then you press the button on top you see the line split each occurrence means anytime you have the one split and which is what we need so just click ok we have the data now arranged in the different columns if we check this first column is blank we don't have anything in this column so we delete this column right click on the column and then say remove we also mouse to the last column we have another column here we click on it and it is blank so right click on it and then say remove okay that gives us 10 columns 781 rows remember the number of employees 780 so why do we have this extra one because the header is in row number one so we need to replace this other header with the original header if you go to your home column you will see replace first row as headers click on the arrow and take the first option which says use first row as headers so we click on it now we have 10 columns 780 rows the data is beginning to take the structure the shape that we want so now we have the data in this outline you can do what is called eda EDA means exploratory data analysis and the keyword there is explore. Explore means try to understand the data better. So let's take each column and see what we have. So we want to start with the first column which is employee ID. Now we said the employee ID is more like the primary key. It is advisable. Let the data type of the primary key be text. For example, if we load this into Excel to work with pivot table, Excel seeing this as number will simply add this. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, Excel will do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So to be on the same side, leave your primary key data type as text. So how do we convert the data type? Click on the data type icon and change the data type to text. It will ask you, the selected column has an existing type conversion. Would you like to replace the conversion? We we'll say yes, replace current. Let's check through the column and be sure everything is okay. Since this is a text column, it is advisable you trim your text column to avoid unwanted spaces. So how do we remove unwanted spaces? We use what is called trim. So right click on this and go to transform and then you will see trim. So click on trim. We have removed unwanted spaces. Next we get to the age column. The age, the data type is whole number. That's okay. And then we filter to see the age. 
So we have the ages from 26 to 46 years. So we'll just take another root, 26 to 46 years. The data type is number. We don't trim. We'll get to the next column, gender. So we have female, female, male, male. We're supposed to have just one female and one male. Why we have this extra? It's likely we have some unwanted species. For example, this could be M-A-L-E. This could be M-A-L-E space. So when we have unwanted species like that, it's an error. To remove them, we use what is called trim. So how do we do that? Right-click the column header, go to transform, and go to trim. Now, if you look at it again, now we have just female and male. Okay, it's data type is text. That is okay. We'll come to the departments column. The departments, the same team, engineering, engineering, engineering. Okay, in this instance, we have three. So some, this may likely be space engineering. This could be engineering with no space. This could be engineering, then a space after. So a simple way to handle all that is to do what is called trim. So go to transform and then click on trim. Now, if you click on it again, you discover we have just six departments. The data type is text. It's okay. So we'll go to job role and we'll trim also. Trim. Okay. Years of service. We'll click on the arrow. We have from 2 to 16. So let's take note of it. Years of service from 2 to 16 years okay 2 to 16 and then we have performance rating from 5 to 9 we'll do conditional formatting on all this performance rating so we have from 5 to 9 Okay, and then we we'll look at satisfaction score is in decimal. Satisfaction score is from 3 to 4.8. Satisfaction score 3 to 4.8. Since the data is in decimal, we allow the data type as 1.2. 1.2 is for decimal numbers. Then we have the salary. The salary we have from 41k to 78k. Salary is from 41 to 78. Okay, the data type here is in whole numbers. We change it to currency. Good. Then we we'll look at the attrition. The attrition, if we look at the filter. Okay, so we we'll right click and then we trim. Correct. And the attrition, the data type is as text. This is okay. We have done the basic cleaning of the data. Now, the next thing we want to transform the data set. And let me zoom this. In this H column, we want to have a range of numbers. Instead of analyzing from 24 to 46, meaning we want to create a column for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, up to 46. That's more like 20 columns of data. That will be too much information. Instead, when we have data like this, we create them into a range. And we can use conditional formatting in Power Query to achieve this.